Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Brent and I am excited to announce my new mini series over this cool web and mobile platform, Firebase. So why Firebase? Well, I have a really good friend that works at Google and Firebase was recently acquired by Google. Now, the other day we were uh, talking and we decided to do a little code challenge where we created a real time chat application. He decided to go with Firebase and I decided to go with uh, Node.js and a uh, socket IO system. Now, over the course of about 10 minutes, he scorched me and created an application like that. Uh, so I decided to check it out and so far what I've found out it, it is freaking awesome and I am excited to tell you guys about it. So let's discuss a little bit about the features of Firebase. First off I want to let you know that you can access all this stuff on firebase.com. Um, I'm in the features section here and I would like to discuss first off the real-time nature of Firebase. Now Firebase is a NoSQL type database that stores objects in JSON format but the cool thing about it is is that it sends that data to connected clients in real time. So say user A updates the database. Now user B would typically have to query the database for new results, right? Um, well, in this case, actually the server sends the information to client B uh, as soon as it is updated so that client B knows that data has changed and can update their client's view. So that is a really cool and beneficial thing about Firebase apps. So this all works cross-platform as well. So you can have a user on an Android phone, a user surfing the web, and a user on an iPhone, all connected to the same simultaneous uh, database. And anytime any information is that uh, in that database is updated, all connected clients instantly receive that newly updated data. So another cool thing about Firebase is that it works offline as well as in areas with uh, limited or you know patchy uh, connectivity. So the way it does this is that it saves all changes that you make on your client locally first and then it sends that those changes to the Firebase server. So if you are in an area with sketchy internet access, when you lose connectivity, it's still saving everything locally. And when you regain connectivity, it sends all those changes back out to the Firebase server. Also, when you regain connectivity, any changes that you missed while uh, disconnected will be sent to you once you reconnect. Now the next and final thing that we'll be talking about in this mini series regarding Firebase is authentication, which in my opinion is absolutely the coolest feature. So Firebase will authenticate clients using Google, Facebook, Twitter, or GitHub without us writing one single line of backend code. Totally cool. So another couple quick features that we will maybe just lightly brush over in this mini series is the Firebase's scaling. So as your user base grows, so does uh, your server's capabilities. It also provides uh, a, a lot of security features that you can configure based on authentication. Um, it also provides web hosting as well so you can deploy your applications very quickly. So hopefully all this information has intrigued you enough to stick with me through this mini series. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button so you can follow the rest of the series. Um, if you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.